Greetings, everybody. Maximus here. I hope you're all doing well, wherever you may be all around this great big world of ours. So I came across a video Boeing released this week about the fuselage-related quality issues plaguing the program that led Boeing to stop delivering the 787s until they get the situation resolved. Flight Global reported that Boeing released the video on July 23rd, along with an email from Boeing Commercial Airplanes Chief Executive Stan Dio to all Boeing's commercial aircraft employees. In the letter, Deal addressed Boeing's ongoing efforts to bring production stability to all its commercial aircraft programs. Apparently, the letter in the video, for that matter, doesn't really reveal a whole lot of new information. But I know it's usually a popular topic on this channel and I thought you'd appreciate a chance to see what Boeing is doing internally to address the problem. The video does, however, add some context related to Boeing's inspections and repair of the Dreamliner and what their process has been since they stopped delivering the 787 in May due to the fuselage gap defects. So take a look and I'll come back and close it out after. Today we're going to talk about the 787. What we're doing on the 787 is a methodical program, reviewing the airplane from tip to tail in a way that's safe and compliant for our customers and our regulators. If you start at the tail of the airplane, just walking to the front, each of those sections, when we bring them together, is within five thousandths of an inch. You'll hear people talk of gaps. It's really not what you would normally think of as a gap. This is a very, very small space. Just to give you a feel, that's the thickness of a single coat of paint. When we identified the issue, the first thing we do is make sure that we check the fleets and the fleet is, is safe with the current conditions. What we're talking about here is really making sure that every element of the design complies with the strict specifications. And it's not an issue of safety. We believe through analysis, testing, and sampling that we can demonstrate that our product meets all requirements. They begin by removing a set of fasteners. We go ahead and perform gap checking with feeler gauges. And then we have to reinstall certain fasteners. It does take quite some time. The process of which isn't really technically challenging, but it does take quite a bit of effort. We give the team enough time to make sure the work's done. And the real important thing is that the work's done correctly and that our regulator concurs with the recommendations. I am very proud of the team that's been working on the 787. Your expertise, your due diligence, your thoroughness, your sacrifices have all made a huge difference. I'm confident in this airplane because of you. The fine employees and suppliers who work on this airplane, when we see an opportunity to make our planes better, we respond and we respond as a team in a way that moves us forward as a company. Thank you very much. Like I said, there wasn't a lot of new information in the video, but I did appreciate being able to visually see some of the processes they're going through to get the Dreamliner out of the parking lot and back up in the air where she belonged. Well, that's all I have for now. But on your way out, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus.